I mean, it is understandable that the government collectively actually would have gone, I mean, if there was another option that, that uh, uh, supported uh, the people, definitely we would have actually, uh, uh, you know, gone for that. Understandable. Now, there are cascading effects. Uh, fuel prices goes up, uh, now the bakery owners want to say they want to increase uh, bakery product prices uh, and then they, uh, you know, there is always that. So uh, what, is, what is the plan there? Because, you know, you can't just increase and keep your uh, you know, hands tied and say, oh, we did this, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. But you need to address uh, to the people, uh, the ones who are actually facing these difficulties. Vegetable prices will go up uh, um, at, at this time. What is the solution there? What, what has the government done? Uh, uh, well, uh, let me answer in two different ways. Firstly, we considered the impact on the cost of living. That's why we have acted in this manner. Firstly, uh, unless we unless we inc we increase the petrol price by a huge amount, why? To compel the people to uh, consume uh, petrol in an economic manner to reduce their consumption. Because we need we can somehow find rupees. That's not a big issue. The government can print. Uh, ru uh, yeah. ru uh, rupee notes, I mean thousand no, five thousand, whatever they can print. But our actual problem is foreign currency dollars. So we need at least 300 million, I am repeating the figure, 300 million dollars for every month to import petroleum products. That's a huge amount in yeah. any standard. You may recall our Prime Minister was the chief guest at the National Day celebrations in Bangladesh. At that time, President uh, requested for a loan. The loan amount we received was 200 million US. It is not that sufficient. That is a currency swap. That's right, yeah. whatever it is. It's yeah. Indians for, for the understanding of the general yeah. public. It's a loan, yeah. right? It's somehow it provides what, 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 uh, the foreign uh, currency, what we require. So, uh, it was 200 million. It's not sufficient to mm -hmm. cover one month petroleum product importation bill. Previous month, with great celebration, the government announced that we obtain a uh, short term loan of 500 million US from China. It's not, it's a big loan, but it's not sufficient to cover two months import bill of petroleum products. So, we, because of our, and Sri Lankan government has uh, foreign reserves, foreign currency reserves including gold deposit amount to three billion dollars entire government foreign reserves are sufficient only to bring petroleum for 10 months so this is the situation therefore we have no choice but to reduce the importation of the petroleum products so we don't have enough foreign currency to continue this importation at this level and then let me explain this bit i'm so sorry we know the impact on the cost of living. We consider two issues. What, what is the impact of the cost of living by increasing diesel by 6%? Yes, all transport, uh, then uh, good transportation, passenger traveling, all cost of those will be increased. On the other hand, unless we do this, there will be a huge pressure on the dollar. Dollar will go up. Then what is the impact on cost of living? All imported goods from medicine to food, other essential items, machineries, industrial items, industrial inputs, all fertilizer, all will go up. Then we considered what is the best out of the worst two. <laughs> now, take the dollar. At the end of 2014, dollar was trading at 131 rupees. It is now 203 rupees. The depreciation dollar has appreciated by nearly 60 percent. Now diesel has been increased only by 6 percent. Then we realize cost of living caused by the full price hike would be better than the uh, impact brought by the dollar appreciation. That's why we chose the worst out of the, the best out of the worst two.